Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. We are back again. Power and Canada, Avengers Charity. This is Dr. Glenn and Pastor Tim. We welcome you to another episode of Power Encounter, where the power of God is moving to touch lives. God must first be impacted in your life before you be impacted in anybody else's life. And tonight we want to talk about the Great Commission. Everyone is called to do something in the earth realm for God. God needs a vessel to work through. Like the devil needs a vessel to work through, God needs a vessel to work through. So with that, I'm going to ask Dr. Glenn to open up with a word of prayer tonight that God will let his anointing flow through the airways. If you're not on your job, for God, you're on the wrong job. Get on your job tonight. Amen. Gracious and most heavenly Father, we come before your throne today to say thank you. Thank you for giving us the ability to hear. Father, thank you for allowing our brains to have the capacity to be able to learn more and to understand more. So, Father, as you reveal yourself to us today, Father, give us a word that will change our lives, yes. change the trajectory of how we think about ourselves, yes. how we think about you, Father, and how we think about each other. Yes. We love you and we thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And tonight we are, uh, we are talking out of Mark 16 around verse 14 there, and here um, Jesus had risen from the dead. Mary Magdalene, which she had cast out seven demons out of her, and they went to the place looking for him, but he was not there. And they went to go tell the others that he was not there, but they didn't believe that he had risen. Mm -hmm. But here, we're gonna pick up here in uh, uh, verse 14, if you feel like reading that. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Mark chapter 16, verse 14 reads as follows. Still later, he uh -huh. appeared to the 11 uh -huh. disciples uh -huh. as they were eating together. Uh -huh. He rebuked them for uh -huh. their stubborn unbelief. For their what? Stubborn their unbelief. Their unbelief. Mm. Mm. You cannot have unbelief operating in the power of God. You must believe that he is. Believe who he is and know who he is. Believe means to put everything on God. Amen. Amen. For their stubborn unbelief, uh -huh. they refused to believe uh -huh. those who had seen him uh -huh. after he had been raised. And there's been what? After he had been raised. They refused to believe in those that had seen him raised from the dead. You cannot do the work of God except you first believe. Mm. You have to believe that he is, believe what he's saying. And believe when he send you, he's going to do what he say he's going to do. Mm. So for one of y'all want to interject on that before we get going. And I like right there where it says that uh, because there are hardness of heart. You can't do ministry with a hard heart. Mm. Your heart must be softened of compassion and love and show mercy. You cannot have a hard heart. You cannot be stubborn. You cannot be rebellious. You have to be open to the things of God. Because you're going to deal with stubborn, rebellious people. You can't be like the people. Mm. Your heart has to be changed. So, so. Unbelief is one of the major things that I believe that keeps us from the promises of God. Mm -hmm. Unbelief is like a, a pin code that you can't find the right uh, key to unlock that code. Yes. With belief, that's the pin code to getting into the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. You know, the people say that there are a lot of keys to the kingdom of heaven. Yes. There are keys to the kingdom of heaven. Yes. To have keys to something means that there's a, a physical key that goes into something. But to have the keys of the kingdom, that yes. means that there are principles that are attached to getting different things to come out of heaven and to flow here on earth. And belief is the main system that yes. we have to get comfortable with yes. in order to unlock freedom, yes. deliverance, healing, yes. and the power of the kingdom of yes. heaven here on earth. Amen. Amen. How, can, how, can you make, how can you make faith work uh -huh. if you don't have the belief? Yes, yes, yes. You've got Amen. to have belief in order to make the faith yes. work. Amen. You know, when you, when you get in your car in the morning time to go to work wherever you're going, you get to put that kid in ignition. You believe and you turn it, it's going to play. It's going to start up. And then you're going to believe it's going to take you where you need to go without having a flat tire, without running out of gas. You're going to believe. So there's so many things attached to believing God, you know, and so when the enemy comes to bring doubt, and sometimes when God uh, does something or you go somewhere and certain things don't happen, 
Then you begin to wonder, well, did God really say this? Yes. Uh, did God say he's going to do this and not do it? Mm -hmm. uh, even in the Garden of Eden, he told them don't do certain things. But they did it anyway. Mm -hmm. you know, and so if God tells you something, you can believe what he said is true without a shadow of a doubt. But the thing is, don't rebel against what God says is going to happen. Mm. Okay, go ahead and read on down to verse 15. Verse 15. And then he told them, go into all the world and preach the good news uh -huh. to everyone. Uh -huh. Verse 16. Anyone who believes and is baptized. Anyone what? Who believes. There's that word again, believe. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You got to believe he is who he is. Yes. You got to believe when you say I receive and believe I receive in my heart. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can have a bunion on your foot. But the thing is, you can say in that bunion still there, but you believe God in your heart. Something happened in your heart. Something happened in my life. A change took place when I received it. I believe what he said. I received it to my heart. Now my heart is changing. Mm -hmm. This is not an overnight thing. No. You got to believe every day for something new to happen within you. The great commission is he said, go, not sit, but go and tell somebody the gospel that will set you free. And when you preach, I believe what you preach is going to touch somebody's heart. Amen. 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 Somebody. Yes, sir. I don't want to hold up for everything. What I love about this is verse 14 and then how he transitions himself in verse 15. He was the rebuker in verse 14. Uh -huh. But then in verse 15, he became the instructor. Yes. So he said, this is how we get it right. What yes. you did was wrong, yes. but let me show you how to get it right. That's right. And how do we work through our unbelief? He's saying, go into all the world uh -huh. and preach the good news uh -huh. to everyone. Uh -huh. So if, you have, if you're have, you struggling with belief, what yes. he's saying is you need to go out and start preaching and yes. start teaching yes. and telling people about the yes. goodness of God. Yes. And while you're doing that, in the midst of that happening, mm. you'll begin to build from yes. unbelief to belief. So we got to get busy about our Father's business. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We got to get busy about his business. Amen. Amen. It is in the service of every creature. Everyone. Yes. No matter what it is, if you preach it, he said, preach the gospel. Yes. In other words, he said, get out your seat and take it to the street. Mm -hmm. Win the loss at all costs. Mm. Don't sit still. Go and do something. Yes. You're not called to just sit. You're called to go and do something. The word go means you've been at you in motion, not sitting still. Yes. That means got somebody that you dislike, you still go and give Amen. Her the good, her, or her the good word. Yes. If Charlie across the street from you is doing drugs, you go over and talk to him. You tell him what God has done in your life, how he's changed you, mm -hmm. and how he can change mm -hmm. Charlie. Amen. That's good. Amen. You know, and, and, you know, and they said he will leave. And, and, and is baptized shall be saved. He does not stand condemned. So now he said, who believes and is baptized, receive the gospel, then go get baptized. That's a symbolic thing. You went down with Christ, you've been rolled up with Christ. Uh, I'm getting ready to go to Athens. I got to teach on baptism. Then I got to baptize some people mm -hmm. while I'm there. Mm -hmm. And so this is one of the things that I, I, I really want to. Because I've I mentioned some pastors there from uh, coming from Uganda and Nigeria and, and Tarzana uh, coming for a conference on the 31st. And this is one of the things I want to uh, convey to them. This is what it's all about. Yes, sir. Souls. You know, and so, you know, because somewhere there, we're not doing what the Great Commission is. Yes. You know, or some people ain't coming to the house. Mm -hmm. Some people ain't coming to the conference. Some people ain't coming to your program, but it said there in verse uh, verse uh, 12, 15, to go. So they ain't coming to you, you gotta go with it. That's right. And then when you go, you gotta preach the gospel. Yep. The gospel is the word of God being preached, what God said. Not something that man put together to try to uh, uh, bring some sort of uh, recognition for himself, but lift Jesus. If I be lifted up, I draw all men unto me. It's about lifting them up. The gospel is Jesus Christ. Good. Go ahead. That's good. You want to keep reading? Yeah. Okay. Uh, verse 16. Anyone who believes mm -hmm. and is baptized will be saved. Mm -hmm. But anyone who refuses to believe yes. will be condemned. Yes. These miraculous signs will accompany those who believe. 
Yes. They will cast out demons in uh -huh. my name. Now notice he said that word believe again. Mm, he did. Yeah. He did. You got to believe in the power. Yes. You got to believe in what God said. Believe in his word. Mm -hmm. Trust in the word. Rely on his word. Depend on his word when you go. Mm. They will uh, cast out demons in my name. Uh -huh. And they will speak in new languages. Uh -huh. In verse 18, they will be able to handle snakes with safety. Uh -huh. And if they drink anything poisonous, uh -huh. it won't hurt them. It won't what? It won't hurt them. Uh -huh. They will be able to place their hands on the sick and they will they be will come. healed. But now, to do all those things, when you go, the servant, the dead, the poison, you must believe. You don't know it's there, but they, they can try it. You believe in God. God will protect you. Yes, yes. You know, they had these guys on television some time ago, and they, they would go out looking for rattlesnakes, and they sit in there, and they get the snake, and they start stealing and to the snake like a hundred people that die. You the fool. Mm -hmm. He said, if you pick up dead, the servant, or if you break for it, he said, go out and, and try that, and and, and uh, uh, play with snakes. Right. You're crazy. Or uh, go pick up a cup of poison and drink it. And expect for God to save you. Or uh, spare you. No. He said if you do it. You don't know it's not death. If you go to a place. And you may get attacked somewhere. Uh, it won't harm you. It's like um, a ride on a bucket. They put a poison in a, in a drink. To kill five elephants. Mm. But it didn't harm you. Wow. You know so. The thing is that. Uh. Sometimes people do things out of foolishness, mm -hmm. but they, they, they rely on God to do something that God didn't say do. He's telling you when you go and you believe and trust me, wherever you go, I'm going to protect you. Amen. I'm going to watch over you. Amen. No matter what kind of trap they set for you, no matter what they're trying to do to you, I got you because you believe it and you depend on God. Wherever I go, I got to believe and trust and rely and depend on God when I go because when I go, I must believe that God sent me first. Amen. Go ahead, Wester. Well, one of the things that I'm believing in now is I've been working with a couple of realtors uh -huh. that are trying to find a place that I can manage to buy with my credit as bad as it is. Okay. And I'm believing that God is going to open the door to the right house for me to walk into. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. You know, and so, you know, one of the things that, that I'm learning now, you know, even though you know, you may be still struggling with stuff in your life. You may be still going through stuff in your life right now. You got to believe God. Believe God to turn this thing around for you. Believe God to restore your life back to you again. It's all in the Word. Believe God. And you, some of you, God told you to go, but you're sitting still. You're concerned about what they may think about you. You're concerned about, uh, they were sitting long enough. We're not doing We lost our focus. We lost our desire. That compassion. That love. That heartbeat of God. We lost that somewhere. It's time to get back to your rightful place. And do what God called you to do. Don't be like Jonah. You can't hide. You can't run from your calling. You know, some of you sitting in these big sanctuaries, they sit in the sanctuary, they hide. Comfortable. Not doing what they're called to do. We want to sit and get comfortable in a place. It's no time to be getting comfortable. It's time to go mm. and do what God calls to do. Amen. Go ahead, somebody. It's important, too, that we understand um, through our hurt, our rejection, our disapproval, our failures, yes. that we have to believe. The, the thing that I love that you said, Evangelist, mm. at the beginning of the show, mm. is that we have to believe for ourselves. Yes. And for some of us watching, we don't believe that God loves us. Yes. We believe that at the lie of the enemy that we have messed up too mm -hmm. many times, that we failed too many times, and that we just can't get it together. But what I want to make sure you understand is that if you can't believe that he loves you first, it becomes difficult for you to believe with somebody else when you're praying with them. Yes. So you got to get it in your blood, in your system, in mm -hmm. your heart, mm -hmm. that God loves me. That's that right. God has That's forgiven me. God. That God has yes. given me yes. a yes. chance after chance after yes. chance. Yes. That as long as there's blood running Thank through my God. veins, I, I have an opportunity yes. to preach the gospel. Yes. I right. have an opportunity right. to receive That's his right. love, to Let receive his Let grace, to receive his mercy, yes. to receive his compassion yes. over my life. Yes. And once you get it for yourself, yes. then that's when you can touch hands and yes, do right. with somebody else. That's and right. that power begin to flow yes. through you 
into somebody else. Yes. It's time for us to believe who we are. We've lost our identity. Yes. Yes. The Christians are having an identity yes. crisis. Yes. And God is saying that I don't want you to have an identity yes. crisis. I want you to have identity Christ. Yes. I want you to look like my son. Yes. I want you to talk like my son. Yes. I want you to love like my son. Mm -hmm. I want you to pray like my son. Right. I want you to have an identity like my son. Because Come my on. son said, when you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Yes, yes. Yes. You have yes. to look in the mirror yes. and understand that what God sees when yes. he when he looks at you yes. is his son. Amen. And that's where we gotta get to the Amen. point where we believe Amen. and don't lose focus Amen. on that's our right. identity. That's right. You this know. is why you can yes. go to Africa with yes. so much boldness. Yes. And I love when you go out there yes. because you, you go with so much confidence. I remember one time I was talking to you <coughs> and you were talking about demons and everything, and, yes. and I actually I said evangelist like oh, Man, how you feel being wrong on demons? And you looked at me with this confident look in your face like, man, God got me. I ain't thinking about Amen. that stuff. Amen. I was like, Amen. that's powerful. Amen. That's because Amen. he knows who he is. Yes. And he knows yes. his identity. Yes, yes, yes. That's powerful. Yes. You want, you want to get in that? That's just too much. That's it. I'm right there. What can you say? I <laughs> Okay. What can you say? Amen. 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 <laughs> you know, we just love the Lord and yes. we're not perfect people, but we are available. Yes. It's not about your ability, but are your are your availability? Are you available? It's one thing to have the ability, but it's another thing, are you available? Mm. Isaiah said, Isaiah said, Hey Lord, who shall go with the Lord? Say, send me on, Lord. Mm. What about you tonight? What about you in that place? You've been there comfortable, you got me comfortable. You become stagnant, you become lazy, you're compromising, you procrastinating, you're putting it off. God is telling you to do a certain thing, but oh, I'm not ready, or I got this going on, I got this going on. What other God called you to do? Mm. Even uh, with Paul, then we say, why should you stop working the table? Stop working, stop doing the work of God, I work the table of man. Mm. Well, I tell you, Get back in your right place. Stop trying to please people. Yes. Stop trying to fit with the clique, stop trying to compete. Get out and do what you've been called to do. Yes. You've been called to do something in the earth for, for God. God's waiting on you. You say you're waiting on God. No, but God's waiting on you. You've been sitting there too long. Get up from that place. Man of God, woman of God, prophet, evangelist, apostle, wherever you are, get up. Do what you've been called to do. Mm. He's waiting on you to move. Yes. When you move, God will move. Um, when you show up, God will show up. Um, he did for Paul Silas in the jail. When they showed up, God showed up. Mm. When you show up, God's going to show up. But you got to show up. Thank you, Jesus. If you're, Hallelujah. if you're afraid of God taking you out of your comfort zone, yes. don't fear it. Yes. God has taken me so far out of my comfort zone yes. in the last month that every time I think he can't take me any further, he does. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But he's teaching me. Amen. 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 Go on with 19. Yes, sir. When the Lord Jesus had finished talking with them, he was taken up into heaven and sat down in the place of honor at God's right hand. Uh, and the disciples went everywhere and uh, preached, and the Lord worked through them, yes. confirming that they, confirming what they said uh, by many mir miraculous signs. Signs following. Mm. God stepped with approval on the work. When God shows up, he stands for approval on the work that he's doing through your life. Now here, Jesus had completed what he's going to do in the earth. He took a sit down right in the Father to see what you're going to do. Mm. He passed the baton to you. Apostle, prophet, mm. evangelist, pastor, teacher, missionary. Mm. He passed the baton to you. What are you doing with the baton? Are you still standing in the star line? Have you took off yet? Mm. Are you still wondering what your calling is? Are you doing something? The word of the Bible says the way don't mean sit still. It means to be doing something. Be a way of doing something. Yes. They said, be a don't keep in the house of the Lord. Do the way of the the week. Do something for what God gave you. Yes. Touch somebody's life with your testimony. How God brought you out. If God can take me out of a crack house, out of the love of the Lord, and fill me with power and travel the world, He can do the same thing tonight. Amen. He's the same God. You can call tonight and they'll pray with you. 714 299 6098. 
2614. You can call. If you want to sow it to soul, you can sow it to soul tonight. This is not for us. It's for soul. It's for us to stay on the air. It's for us to do what we've been called to do. Cry out. Jesus telling you, he was took him to the right hand of the and right hand of the Father. He left something for us to do in the earth for him. What are you doing? Wake up. Arise, arise from the dead. And do what you've been called to God, trying to shake them and bring them back to them. And realize that to do in the earth for him. It's time to rise up people of God and do what you've been called to do. Stop sitting away. Get up now and go. It's time is running out now. It's time for souls for coming to the kingdom. If you go ahead and pray, I want you to pray yes, for that man of God, that woman of God is sitting there stagnant, stuck in a place right now, not moving, not doing anything, calling you, sitting there, feeling like they're not worthy, they, 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 they can't complete what God's done. No, you can't complete what God will bring you to it. Yes. God qualified you to do what you've been called to do. Now get up from that place. Yes. He's speaking to you tonight. Get up from that place. Do what you've been called. I don't care if you fell out a thousand times. Get up and keep going. It ain't over yet. Gracious and most heavenly Father, we pray today. Father, your word says where two or more are gathered in your name, there ye may be also. Mm. Father, you're here. Yes. You not only hear what we're saying audibly, Father, but you hear our spirits. Yes. You hear the spirits of those that are, are weakened and they become yes, lethargic, Lord. Father. Let us <laughs> breathe a fresh word into their life. Yes, Lord. Into their lungs, Father, spiritual yes. lungs right now, Father. Remind them, Father, that your grace is sufficient. Yes. That every time yeah, evil is God, present, God. Father, you will always provide Thank a way of escape, Father. Father. That even though they may be watching this, they may be not. drunk or high or, or in an uncompromised situation, Father, you are you a God of restoration, Father. That you yes, can Lord. bring all things together yes, to work together for yes, the good of those who yes, love you and are called according yes, to your purpose, Father. Restore life, Father. Do it, Lord. Restore Do it. the purpose, Father. Yes, Lord. From the crown of their heads yes, to the very soles of their feet. Yes, I speak a fresh word, Father. Yes, Lord. Fresh anointing, Father. Thank you, Lord. Fresh day, Father. Do it that now, they will, Lord. When they open their eyes, right Lord, now, Lord. they will see yes, a Lord. new person. Yes, Lord. They will see their true yes, identity Lord. of what you've called them to be and who you've called them to be. Father. Father. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Right now, never the same. Hallelujah. Never the same. Glory, 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 glory. We seal this prayer. Thank Father. you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. There's an anointing for the atmosphere right now. Look at what yes, you're getting, yes. what you're going through right now. Hallelujah. The power of God flowing right now. If you need to get your heart right before God, it's very simple. Lord God, come into my heart yes. and change me. Lord, deliver me. Lord, restore me. Bring back my right. I'm tired of living this way. I'm tired of being this way. Lord, help me tonight. And Jesus, he will help you right now. Yes. He will help you right now. You call that number on the street, 714-299-69-609-6098 or 299 Call that number. Someone will pray with you right now. Get back in line with God. Hallelujah. Woman of God, man of God, it ain't over till God says over. That's right. You may have missed it on every turn, but God ain't miss you. Get back in your rightful place. Mm -hmm. We love you. Yes. We've been there. Yes. And we're still striving to do better. God ain't gave up on you. I don't care what people say about you. God ain't gave up on you. Get up. Mm -hmm. Keep moving. They talk, I've been in that Florida over 20 years ago. They're still talking about me, what I used to do, how I used to be, what I used to do, how I used to do it. I'm, I'm past that. You got to let go of the old and grab hold to the new. Yes. God can't pour wine in your wine skin. He needs something new to pour into. Yes. And I pray tonight that God will possess you. He will fill you. He will lead you. He will guide you. He will overtake you. He will overshadow you. He will bring you to the place and realize I'm forgetting the thing. Oh, I'm doing a new thing. I'm stepping into what God called me. I'm going to to the home of the altar tonight. And I'm a part of God. Get back on the wall. I pray for the fire God released over you right now. Yes. 
in that place where you are right now. For God to do a turnaround. For God to release you from that place. Hallelujah. That you would flow in the anointing. You will flow in the word. You will flow in healing power, delivering power, restoring power. You will flow in the power of God again. Rise up and do what you've been called to do. Until next time, God bless you. Love you. We'll see you next time. Good night.